Jin niya talaga maging YouTuber. And we're here for another yun episode. Yun nga! Yun nga! Sinasabi ko kanina pa! Go, go, go. Sing your vlog. Yun na. Imagine yung pag nag-vlog kami na to. Ah, go na. <laughs> hey guys, it's Ria and I'm a lifestyle, travel, and beauty vlogger. I mean, and my name is Miguel Ramalo and we're here for another episode of Responsive Vlog. So in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the things that we consider before publishing a video, like the do's and don'ts and the etiquette. Do the pre-production, like how we think of a uh, new video, new video ideas, how we come up with the content. And lastly, we're gonna be sharing with you guys some tips if you want to do vlogging or if you're already vlogging, how do you like sustain it? So now we're gonna talk about the things we consider before publishing a content. So the very first thing I consider whenever I publish a video is number one talaga is yung copyright issues. YouTube is very, very, very particular and strict when it comes to using uh, materials that, that aren't yours. So for example, music videos, songs, ano pa ba? photos, ganyan. In any case, you want to use something. It's very easy. You can ask the owners for like, kung papayagan ka ba nilang gamitin yung content. There's also one thing about do's and don'ts. Yung pag-filter mo ng words, you can't just curse or baka ka magmura sa videos mo. Also, you have to consider your audience. Yeah. I mean, you could also check your YouTube analytics. That's the place where you can check your audience, kung anong age nila. Mostly nowadays, kasi madaming bata na nag yeah. If your audience is, let's say, mga teenagers or lower than that, of course, you have to filter kung ano man yung content mo. Since I do travel, I go to different places. One of my do's and don'ts or one of the things I consider talaga is you have to be smart enough to know the rules and regulations of the certain place. So you have to consider the culture, um, yung place, because every place has a different set of rules. Iba naman yung regulations sa Pilipinas and yung regulations sa ibang bansa. So I highly suggest you look up on that para hindi ka, para, may, para you won't commit any mistakes. So it's not just about also the rules and regulations, but it's also about culture appropriateness. There's a difference between you appreci appreciating the culture and you para in a way disrespecting it not because you want to disrespect it but because of lack of education or lack of knowledge about their culture and way of system no place na yon. so it's very very important that you respect rules and you respect culture so now let's go on how we think of a new idea or video content titles well we all know there are hundreds or even thousands and thousands of youtubers out there and at the end of the day you have to set yourself apart from everyone and you do that by releasing, of course, content that will catch your audience. Tapat yung sumasabay sa uso, yung gusto ng yeah, so tao, new trends, mga new trends. Yeah, that's a very, very, very first thing we consider. You have but, to follow yeah. trends. You also have to watch out for new releases. For example, new camera, kung ganun ka kayaman, bibili ka ng bagong camera for a review. Also, time. Yeah. Because like, for example, it's back to school issue. Back yeah, to school, uh, then you create tama. videos about back to school haul tips on how you survive college or something. It's very important that your videos are timely and relevant. So now we're gonna give tips if you want to take YouTube as your career. So it's gonna be tips, tips, tips. YouTube is not easy. Like, ako kasi, I started YouTube as a passion. It's important kasi na you start something out of love and passion. If you're gonna start YouTube, tas iniisip mo agad is yung earnings. Ang hirap nun eh, iba yung path, iba, yeah. iba yung drive. Pagka, passion and heart yung pinanghuhugutan mo of something na you're doing iba eh, everything will follow the second is be consistent people love watching yung tao na they're attached to yung malapit sila yung nakikita nila yung everyday life mo or what you do most of the time it's very very important na consistent ka kasi the more videos you upload mas umiikot yung videos mo sa youtube tapos mas suggested yung video mo third is ano wag kayong magpapadala sa mga hate comments Madami yan. They won't stop. Basta, don't let the hate stop you. Kasi kung gusto mo talaga yung ginagawa mo, you will push through talaga. So yeah guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe to my channel at youtube.com slash rayhermar. And our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash rayandmiggy. So yeah. Bye! Yeah, bye!